Evokut's autobahn is a long way from his home in Xinjiang, but he still has the scars to remember it by. He's Chinese by birth, but an ethnic Kazakh. In 2017, Chinese authorities arrested him and strapped him to this, what they call the tiger chair. After a year in a re-education camp, he was allowed out, but not into freedom. He showed us the clothes factory built inside the camp's grounds. Ibakut was a witness at today's hearing of the Uyghur Tribunal in central London. It's seeking to answer whether China is conducting genocide and other crimes against humanity against minorities in Xinjiang, in the northwest of the country. This is a people's tribunal. It has no judicial, political or legal power. But it has infuriated China, which strongly denies the allegations, saying its policies in Xinjiang are to fight extremism. It has repeatedly attacked the tribunal and even applied sanctions to its chairman. And it's tried to pressure the British government. This tribunal and the noise it is creating is destructive in terms of misleading certain sectors of the society. Despite that, those who escaped Xinjiang are still taking their chance to put their evidence on public record. Urumbik Koksabik was detained for having dual citizenship and held in the same camp as Irbukut. He was singled out for punishment. In London, at least, the witnesses can speak freely. They know that is impossible in Xinjiang, where every word is watched. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Shanghai.